When it comes to website builders, there's a ton to choose from. And at the end of the day, some of the most popular ones are things like Squarespace or Hostinger. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear idea of which of these website builders is right for you and your website journey. Also, if you guys wanna get access to the best possible deals for each of these websites, make sure to use the links down in the description below. When it comes to getting started with Squarespace, one of the best ways you can do that while also getting an amazing discount is by using the link down in the description of this video. When you click that link, you'll be brought to a page that looks like this and you'll simply hit the get started button. Once you've hit the get started button, it'll ask you to tell you a little bit of information about what you're trying to build and the website you're trying to create. Once you've given them a little bit of the details about what the website you're trying to create, you can hit the next button. But for this case, we're just going to hit the skip button. As you can see, it's also going to ask us what some of our goals are. We can simply hit the skip button for this as well. Now it's either going to ask us if we want to start from a template or use their AI website editor. And for the sake of this video, we're only going to start with a template. All you simply have to do is click the template option and hit the finish button to get to the next step. Once you get to the next step, you'll simply be on this page where you can pick from the templates that they have at your disposal. Any of these templates will do. And for the sake of this video, I'm just going to choose this one. You can then edit the design slightly and hit start with this design. Once you do that, you'll then be asked to create an account. And this is where you'll get access to that discount I talked about in the beginning. All you simply want to do is click one of these options. For this instance, I'm going to use my email. I'll then enter in my first name, my last name, and my email address, and then create a simple password. Once I've done all this, I can hit the continue button and it will take me into my account. Now that I'm officially inside of Squarespace's website editor, I want to head over to the part where I can get that discount and get that 10% by using our code. I'll simply head down to the settings option and then head over to the billing tab in the settings option. Once I'm in the billing option, I then have either payment information, subscriptions, or invoices to choose from. For this instance, I'm going to choose subscriptions. Once I'm on the subscription page, as you can see, we're on a trial subscription. When you use our link, that is part of a free trial that you guys will get, but we obviously want to get the discount. So we're going to click this option right here where it says website. As you can see, I can now hit the subscribe button right here, and then it will take me to the plan page where I can choose which plan I want to go with. I'm going to go ahead and choose the business plan page. I'm then going to pick the pay annually option, which is going to save me quite a bit of money up front. I'm then going to confirm my selection and now enter in my street address, my city, state, country, and postal code. Once you've reached this page, you'll then enter in your payment information and then you'll want to enter in the code of my first website, all capitals, no spaces, in order to get 10% off on the plan that you choose. This is a really great way to save that much more money on Squarespace while utilizing its overall functions and get that much better of a deal. When you click that link, you'll be brought to a page that looks like this. As you can see, you'll get up to 75% off web hosting, a free domain, plus three free months on top of the $2.99 a month plan. In order to actually claim this deal and get access to it, I simply just have to click the claim deal button. Once I hit the claim deal button, it will then ask me to choose which of these payment options or payment tiers that I want to go with. For the sake of this video, I'm going to go with the most popular option, which is the business plan. I'm going to click the add to cart button, which will then take me to the next page, which is checkout. Once I'm at the checkout page, I then will simply pick a payment period, which is basically how often I want to pay. To save the most amount of money here, I'm going to go with the 48 months option, which is saving me about $480. Once I've selected that, I'm then going to create a quick account with an email address and a password. And finally, I'm going to enter in my payment details, my personal details, and then I'm going to get access to that coupon code. All you simply have to do here is click that and then you can enter in your coupon code. The coupon code you want to enter here to get the best possible deal is my first website, all capitals, no spaces. Once you've entered in that code, simply hit the apply button. And now, as you can see, the coupon is fully applied and we're getting the best possible deal when it comes to getting started with Hostinger. All we simply have to do now is enter in our card details and hit submit secure payment and we can get started with Hostinger. Now that we've gotten how to get started with these specific platforms out of the way, let's get into this comparison and review. The first place we'll start is Squarespace. Squarespace is an incredibly easy to use intuitive platform that lets you build websites efficiently and effectively. It's a platform that's known for its easy to use editor as well as sleek and high quality quality templates. Most people can create a professional website with Squarespace in less than 30 minutes utilizing things with their templates and their drag and drop editor. Because of this, it's become one of the number one choices in website designers as of late, and it's been a super effective tool at creating things in a really quick fashion. Not only that, but Squarespace has a ton of integrated, super useful features that you can start utilizing to maintain and successfully run your website. Some of these features have heavily to do with analytics. As you can see from Squarespace's own feature page, they describe how you can use their analytics model to actually view important metrics on their website. Things like traffic, visitor geography, sales, and a host of other things like visits, unique visitors, and page views are all things that you can look at with Squarespace's analytics program. They also have things for commerce analytics if you're running an e-commerce store or an online business on their website builder, plus other useful tools like acquisition analytics, engagement analytics, and even the Squarespace app, which allows you to see all of this on the go on your phone. Now, Squarespace also has full plugin functionality, which also allows you to have full 
full access to a suite of plugins that you can put right into your website to get started with editing. Helpful tools with things like analytics, visitor trackers, cookies, and a host of other things that you can add to your website after the fact. Squarespace also has full email marketing and generalized marketing tools that you can use to track visitors and make sure that you're getting the full amount of value out of each customer or potential visitor. With things like email campaigns, email lists, and just making a list in general of potential leads that visit your website, it can be super helpful to have this. Now that we've discussed most of Squarespace features, let's go over the pricing. As far as pricing is concerned, as you can see, we're looking at a few different options here. Keep in mind when you pay annually, you will be saving quite a bit of money as opposed to if you were to pay monthly. On the annual plan, we're looking at about $16 a month, which is about 36% when you're using the annual plan. For the business plan, we're looking at about $23 a month and you're saving still about 36%. For the commerce plan, you're looking at about $28 a month, which you're saving about 30% with. And for the commerce advanced plan, you're looking at about $52 a month, which you'll save about 27%. Now, each of these specific plans have drawbacks and benefits as far as the features that you get access to. For the personal plan, you're going to get the bare bones amount of features, things like mobile optimized websites, templates, and of course, your free custom domain, and you can send invoices for free. With the business plan, which is what they say is the best value plan, you'll be looking at most of the same features you get with the basic plan, but you'll also get access to things like advanced website analytics. You can also sell products for a 3% transaction fee, and you'll also get checkout on your domain. And for the rest of these plans, you're going to get very minor tweaks in overall benefits, things like powerful merchandising, and of course, the ability to do advanced shipping, advanced discounting, and sell subscriptions on the most advanced plan that they have. In my opinion, if you're building a very professional, high quality, either portfolio website or professional website, Squarespace seems to be the best option here. That being said, let's dive into its competitor, Hostinger, and talk about the website builder that they have on there. Now, when it comes to Hostinger, they do have full web hosting optionality, which can be really handy for hosting websites and building websites all on the same platform to keep everything organized. Because of this, some people might like that and might see that as a pretty big benefit. When it comes to actually building the website on Hostinger, I can show you the full functionality of how their website builder works. It's super intuitive and easy to use. All you simply have to do is head over to the add website button or edit one of the current websites that you have and just click the button. Once you're inside the website builder, this is basically what it's going to look like. It's super easy to use and not that hard to understand. You can then hit the add new section here and you can choose from a bunch of different templates that already exist or just start building your own from the ground up. For this instance, I'm just going to pick the first one they have here and I can start editing this on the fly. I can drag this around, move it around to different parts of the website with ease. I then can edit this text to say whatever I want and obviously make it bigger, smaller, or make it any size that I'd prefer. I then can edit this text down here and also create my own text, figure out exactly what I want it to look like, and obviously make all those adjustments on the fly. I can edit these photos as well and pick an image from my computer or that's already downloaded onto the media library and pretty much anything else. I also can go to add section down here where I can add things like testimonials, galleries, slideshows, images, videos, and a host of other features. As you can see, this is a very easy to use website builder. And compared to Squarespace's, even though Squarespace's is a little bit more complicated, it definitely is the easier to use builder. Now, at the end of the day, when it comes to who should use Hostinger, in my opinion, I think beginners are very well suited to use this platform. It's incredibly intuitive with easy to use UI and easy to understand software. Squarespace is a little bit more complicated and has more features at your disposal, but it also, because of that, is not as easy to use if you're a complete beginner to building websites. Because of this, each of these specific software tools have their own benefits and drawbacks, and it really just depends on where you're at in your overall website building journey. If you're a complete beginner, Hostinger might be the better option. But if you're more advanced and have more experience, Squarespace might be the better answer. Let me know in the comments down below which of these website builders you use and which one you're thinking about using today. If you want to get started with any of these, make sure to use the link down in the description below so that way you get the best possible discounts and deals that we have available. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe button so you never miss a new video that we post to this channel. But other than that, that's all I have for you guys today. I'll see you guys in the next video.